What is up, audio winning team members? Today we're going to focus on a unique yet crucial aspect of our roles, and that's mixing for multi campus sync. This training is going to give you tips and philosophy on how to mix when our campuses are linked together and they're all playing in sync. And so this may seem like a lot at first glance, creating a unified sound from vocalists and instrumentalists who aren't even in the same room as you. But remember, we're not just adjusting levels, we're not just balancing tracks. Your job is to create an atmosphere of worship that links hearts across cities and all across the state of Tennessee. And that's how we win our world as a production team. We make God's truth accessible in a digital age, and we're going to use the tools that have been created to spread the gospel and create that worship atmosphere. So here's just a quick refresher on our multi-site audio stem breakouts. When you start your Resi feed, you're going to get eight different channels. You probably won't use them all every week, but I want to walk you through each one just to make sure so you know. First one's going to be your playback sum. That is all video sources from Pellissippi. Anytime we play a video clip, any other kind of pre-produced audio like a sound effects, that's where you're going to get these. Number two is the speaker sum. It's anyone who talks on a mic, a pastor, a host. Channel three, that's going to be your vocal sum. It's got the whole Pellissippi vocal team and just a touch of track vocals all blended in. Channel four is going to be your band sum. Now that has most of the Pellissippi band. I say most because we take out the things that's going to be difficult for you to mix around. So there's going to be no drums, very little bass and lead guitar. It's a sum of tracks, rhythm guitars, acoustics, and keyboards. Channel five is the click, which is what it sounds like. Channel six is a talkback sum. So that's all the MD mics as well as Pellissippi experience director. And finally, the last two channels are the house master mix. And that's the same mix that our online campus receives. So it should already be well blended for you. So let's walk through each one of these plays and see how you can mix each one. And the first play that we talked about is broadcast only. This is where we take the broadcast campus feed. Local teams don't participate in worship. So for this scenario, a couple notes. First, we're going to use the master mix, that's channel 7 and 8, for whatever happens. On a normal weekend, you might use the individual breakouts for speaker, playback sources, but since we want to hear the full mix, including the full band and vocal team, we're going to use the master stems, channels 7 and 8 for everything. And they're usually labeled Pell Left and Pell Right. In fact, don't attempt to even use those individual stems. All that's going to do is create phasing issues in your mix. So finally, coordinate with your experience director. Make sure your fade out of the music is clean. This will involve crossfading between the end of the broadcast and whatever is happening on your local stage. Could be pad, could be keys, speaker, any combination of those things. So an ideal crossfade is going to be slow and clean, no less than three seconds, preferably five. Just you want to slowly bring that the, that broadcast level down, bring your house up. Your MDA, your MD is going to be able to bring in other music elements on stage that you can use to cover that fade. Hey, the next play that we could run is broadcast with multi-site support. This is going to be where we'll be led by the broadcast campus worship leader. Campus vocal teams and bands will still play along and support that. You guys are going to use the breakout stems in this instance. You're going to mix the broadcast vocal stem like you would normally mix the worship leader stem at your experience. So that's going to be about 3 to 5 dB above all your other vocalists. You want them to be prominent because that is the worship leader. You're going to mix all your other on-site vocalists, even your campus worship leader, like you would your support vocals. So keep them about 5 dB below that lead vocal level. Keep them all balanced out so you have a nice vocal cord. You can use the broadcast band stems like you would your tracks. So don't make them prominent, but you can use them to kind of glue your mix together. Use them to fill the gaps that you have in your live mix. So finally, when you come to the end of your link up, you're going to crossfade your broadcast stems in much the same way you did before. Make it gradual, ideally no less than three seconds. Use the pads and keys that are live at your location, whatever your campus band is doing, to mask that fade out. And finally, communicate to your XD as soon as you faded everything out so that they can stop the stream quickly. And that will help your team that's on stage to make a clean transition to the next element. Additionally, make sure your band and vocalist mute and unmute the Pellissippi stems at the right time. You may need to go backstage during practice and help them and show them where those stems are because it's not things we use often. So in, in particular, show them the click, show them the MD stem so they know how to mix those in their IEMs. And our final play that we run is not one that we run often, 
but it is multi-site primary. So this is going to be where our broadcast MD is going to call the song structure. Campus level worship leaders will be the primary vocalist. In this instance, we're going to use the broadcast vocal and band stems only for mix support. You're going to keep those broadcast vocals at the same level you'd use track vocal stems from Ableton. So 5 to 10 dB below your principal worship vocalist. We're still going to use those broadcast stems as well from the band, but use them like you would your tracks. Don't make them prominent. Use them to hold your mix together, almost like glue. Use them to fill in the gaps between the instruments in your live mix. So when it comes to the end of the link up, you're going to crossfade in a similar way to that second play. It should be a lot easier since you're just fading out those support stems, but you want to make sure there's plenty of support from the live things that are happening on stage. And don't forget, communicate to your XD whenever all the Pell City elements are pulled out.